So that's the first way that airfoils produce lift. The second way that airfoils produce lift is they create a pressure differential. So like we said, generally the upper surface of the wing is rounded and the lower surface is flatter. So as the wing moves through the air, the air that moves up and over the upper surface sort of gets pinched. It sort of gets squeezed. And because it gets squeezed, it has to speed up, just as we know from looking at our Venturi tube. When a fluid speeds up, its pressure decreases because of Bernoulli's principle and conservation of energy. So what winds up happening is we have this area of lower relative pressure formed just above the upper surface. So lower relative pressure meaning lower than everywhere else surrounding it. So the air underneath the wing is at a higher relative pressure than the air over the upper surface of the wing. High pressure always pushes towards low pressure and that produces lift. So before we go any further, it's important to understand that this is an extremely complicated mathematical topic. So this explanation is very general. Uh, the only way to completely explain this is to demonstrate it with equations, is to demonstrate it mathematically. Uh, we're basically trying to visualize what happens to the flow of air over the upper surface when what we should be doing is uh, plugging the conditions into different equations and, and explaining it that way. Uh, this is just a topic that's best explained using numbers instead of words, but that's okay because we don't have to get that deep into it. We just, for our purposes, we just want us to understand the general principles. So all we want to take away from this is that the airflow over the upper surface speeds up, be generally because of the shape of the wing. Because it speeds up, its pressure decreases. So we create an area of lower relative pressure above the wing. So we have higher pressure below that pushes up towards that lower relative pressure. One of the really cool things is uh, under the right conditions, we can actually see this area of low pressure being formed ab above over the upper surface of the wing. Uh, this is because of something called the classius clapeyron relation, and it just causes fluids at low pressures to undergo a phase change and condense. But um, we can actually we can actually see this happening in real life, which is pretty cool. You don't have to know this. Uh, it's just interesting to actually see it happening. 